Coming to you from Chris V Hotel inside Dan Suman Snit Flat. This is another edition of Vibes in Five. Dan is only social media celeb talk show. My name is Arnold Mensal. You can always call me. Bra, you zim me. <laughs> <laughs> I like Bra, that. Bra, you zim me. You Bra, like, yeah, like, yeah, this show is sponsored by Pleno Business. Uh, Pleno is a business app that you can download on Google Play Store, Google App Store and get to you know extend the following of your business both locally and internationally so if you're a business owner <coughs> get the app sorry download it sign up to it and get folks within and outside ghana to follow your business the name again Arnold Mensal Avenue. i'm actually going to have a conversation with the man called papa shoto yes boss yes papa shoto <laughs> was part of book back you know they started the book back movement back in the day and at a point he left and he's never been back till now, you know. And uh, Bookback is 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 uh, is it dead? Uh, no, <laughs> Bookback is still alive. Bookback is is still alive. Uh, yeah, we lost uh, Ronnie, Ronnie a couple of years ago. May he so rest in peace. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been <clears> very <throat> tough for. He was very close to Bright than than me. You know, I okay. I, I, I was away for a while. Mm. But yeah, uh, <clears throat> there's Bright. There's still me. Even though there's a bit mm. tension between me and Bright right now. There's tension between you and Bright. Yeah. Well, yeah. What, what caused the tension? Um, Bright came in Ghana a while ago to promote his his double uh, tracks. Yeah. And I felt it was unfair when he was asked about the genesis of Bookback. Yeah. Um, he did not mention my name, and I I felt really bad. Uh, why? Because I felt I felt disappointed in him, and I made it I made it straight straight to him. Mm. I told him it wasn't fair. Because if you go if you if you should go back into the history of Bookback, we all know I got expelled from Addisada College mm. from wearing the school <coughs> uniform. So in a way I've also invested in Bookback. And like what, I said what, what did you invest in Bookback? Um I am the founder of Bookback. You are the founder of Bookback. Per se, yeah. Um, Bookback started at Mataiko mm. at my dad's house. Um, my father's place and Bright's grandmother used to share a war. Mm. So in the beginning, it was me and Bright. <clears throat> we were actually the camping lots back in the day, um, in 97. We were the camping lots. Then we had a, we entered a competition, mm. a rap competition uh, held at ATTC. And um, that's where we met Ronnie, because mm. he also was another guy. <clears throat> uh, we, we actually came second on that show. Yeah. So we managed to convince Ronnie to join us. Mm. And then, uh, from the beginning, like I was, I was telling you, we used to do everything at my pal's place. Rehearsals, to clothing, to food, to uh, spending the weekends. Mm. Like the brotherhood was in my house. Yeah. So, yeah. And the name Bookback came from my head. Mm. Like I, I, I you, used, you named the group Bookback. Book I named it. <clears throat> and actually, I'm saying it today. I stole it. The name Bookback, I derived it from a, from a song from the Fujis back in the day. I don't okay. know if you all remember. Fuji's had a song, Boof Baf. Okay. Boof Baf, another one from the guys. Boof Baf, Paper Boys mm. come from. And I really love that song. Mm. So I took the name Book Back from Boof Baf. Okay. That was the title of the song from the Fuji's. Mm. And then we sat down with, uh, with uh, uh, the management of Habib Records. Yeah. And we tried to find a meaning for the Book Back. And literally, we, 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 we named the Book Back uh, as in reservation for, for last performances. Okay. But the name Book Back <clears throat> is coming from my head. It's coming from your head. Yeah. So if you and Bright were that close before Ronnie came in, and he knows how important you were to the group, how come when he was mentioning the genesis of Book Back, he excluded you? Um, I, 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 can, I can relate it to so many things. Um, I can say probably he knew my song was also out, and at a point in time, I'm going to come to Ghana to promote it. So I feel maybe he felt like giving me props will probably project me. Projecting you. you yeah. That's and why he excluded you? Exactly, exactly. And I feel it's, it, 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 excuse me, say, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. I think it's... Is this a reason he gave you for not mentioning your name, or you think that's I, what he I thinks? I think, I think. But uh, personally, I think he's been envious of me for a while. It's not the first time. Like Prince Bright has been envious of me. Of course, of course, boss. Uh, it's, it's, it's the truth. I don't care. You can anyone can can call him and ask him. Why? But, um, let me give you a typical example. In 2011, mm. when the songs Colum and mm. Alanta came out, mm. do you actually believe I was on those songs? 
Were you? Yes, sir. I was. You were on Skolom and Alanta. Alanta. Your voice was on it? I had my voice deleted from those songs. You had your voice deleted yes, from Skolom and Alanta. Alanta. What actually happened was, Ronnie was the one that contacted me. He was mm. the one that was behind it, mm. saying, we've been together for a long time and he feels we should come together mm. and do a project for Ghana. And I quite remember, you know, in Switzerland, I have five weeks of holidays. Right. So I took three weeks from my holidays to come do the project with them. Um, when I got to Ghana, Bright wasn't here yet. So when Bright got here, I had like four days to live, mm. to leave Ghana, because I had to go back to work. So I recorded my voice, one with Kiwa, because mm -hmm. he did the Kulum, and then one with Apietus, because mm. he did the Lanta. Yeah. And when I was leaving, the, because usually I had to stay to finish a project with them, but I had to leave because I have to save my job. Yeah. So when I was leaving, we had a conversation. They said, oh, Shoto, no worries, you know, just just leave. We're just going to take care of the rest. Mm -hmm. We're just going to make sure if there's any problems with your voices, we're going to correct it. Yeah. So I was when I, le when I left, I kept in contact with them and they told me everything was OK. So it was when the song came out, I realized my voice had been taken off both songs. What reason did they give you for that? Um. I was really pissed. So my big brother at the time, because uh, Dollar Bill, like he he like manages me sometimes financially mm. until like I signed for Anointed Media. So he called Bright and asked Bright, uh, why did you guys do that? And the only excuse they could give him was uh, they felt my voice wasn't so clear, so they had to take it off. Mm. And for me, it's not a reason, you know? And I had no props on the column. And from the days of column, there was this tension between me and Bright, and I thought it was going to be over. Be yeah. Before your days um, with Colum, or after your days? Before Colum, you had tension. Before Colum, you had tension. We had tension. What was that tension? What brought about that tension? Uh, it's, it, all, it all happened when I left in 98. Mm. You all remember, after Comic Akina, Chingalinye, I left yeah. to Canada to study. And when I was leaving, uh, I had a chat with the record company, Abib Records. Yeah. And with my my partners, Bright yeah. and Ronnie, and I was told that they're gonna keep my part of the money on yeah. the side, All right. the sales from the from the cassettes and from the CDs. Mm. They told me they were gonna put it on the side. So when I got to Ghana, I was expecting to have some amount of money waiting for me. After how many years? Um, just two years actually. After, just two years after you left and got back. Got back. So that would be in two thousand. In two thousand. And when I got back, I asked Abib, and Abib told me frankly, it was like. Uh, Financially, Bright and Ronnie told me to give you to give them your money. Okay. So if anything financial, I had to see, talk to Bright and Ronnie. Okay. And when I contacted Bright and Ronnie, no one was giving me vivid, vivid response mm. to where the money was. So I decided to break up with the group, and that's when I dropped the song uh, Mediaba and okay. Tokwa and okay. uh, Ubini Bruni. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's when the tension began. That's when the tension began. Yeah. So the root or the main cause is the money. Is the money, yeah. So up until now, has there been other reasons for the tension, or it still remains that money? Um, I forgot about it. Uh, like Nana, make it Ah. Sikadi Yeah. You know. Um, my dad had a lot of money. When he died, he didn't even take one city with him. He left it all. So I don't see why I should beef over money. But what helped me most was taking my voices off Colum and Atlanta. Mm. And even that, I forgave him because I have a big heart. I did for forgive him. But I was really touched when he came down and giving credit, talking about the genesis of Bookback. Could talk about other people, but never mentioned my name. So would you say he consciously uh wants to wipe you off or wants to clear you off exactly that, any that, credits any credits is that what you think yeah that's what i think but you know uh you you cannot stop up a shoot i'm i'm unstoppable like um I'm, I'm i'm very comfortable i have what i need in life i have a good job i have a beautiful wife i have a awesome family mm. I, I don't lack nothing so i don't think bright can can stop me. I'm, I'm unstoppable. You're unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. So now, why are you back? Um, I'm home because, uh, like I said, when I left for Switzerland mm. in 2004, I was still in doing active music, but not yeah. in Ghana. Okay. I was signed to Sony Records in France. Okay. So yeah, I did a couple of featurings and a, a couple of songs for them. Um, I featured on uh, Magic Systems album. Mm. Mm. Um, I was on Booba's album. 
all of those that live in Europe, yeah. they, they probably know these names. I've featured for Booba. I've, I've done tracks with Soprano. Okay. Those are big artists in France. Mm. So yeah, I've been out there. But I came this time basically because I, I felt Ghanaians need to know the truth. And I also miss, miss Ghanaians mm. as in the music industry. So yeah, I've, I'm so here. you have a new song? I have two new songs. You have two new songs? Two new for songs Ghanaians. for Ghanaians. Which one and which one? Um, Para. Uh, which is a real hip hop one. Mm. I featured Junior Foster, okay. who's also signed to Anointed Media, California, okay. USA, and uh, Underrate. Okay. Uh, and so far, so good. Um, we enjoying. You enjoying the it. Air, airplay here and there. We're doing good. We're and, doing and and feedback is okay. Oh, it's it's great. It's great. The the problem is, uh, like I say, I'm not a Ghanaian artist. Mm. So even before I got to Ghana, you're not a Ghanaian artist. I, I'm a Ghanaian. Yeah, but like you're my not a Ghanaian artist. artist. I'm okay. not. I don't categorize myself as a, a Ghanaian, Ghanaian artist okay. because I'm signed to a record label in California, USA. Right. And to be honest, um, Para came out a while ago. It's on all media stores hmm. um, in the world. You can talk about CD Baby, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon.com, hmm. uh, Yandex, uh, Giza, uh, Angami. Hmm. Uh, the list goes on and on. Yeah. And this, these are websites where people go and when they listen to music, you get 25 cents and then if they download, you have 99 cents. Right. So yeah, uh, there's, there's money me being made off my songs. Mm. So, uh, I'm, I'm bringing it out to Ghana because I, I had to talk to an anointed media and yeah. they're okay with it. It's, it's like they check Ghana for. What they check Ghana for. What they check Ghana for. Check Ghana for. Patrying. And also to clear that doubt or to clear all the cobwebs surrounding exactly. the book back story exactly so exactly. you're making it clear that you started book back i started book and back. bright is envious of you it's very obvious of me but i forgive him i have nothing against him i think i think if if he he really wants the good of book back because it's a big brand hmm. prince bright can be a brand but prince bright can never be bigger than book back because there's there's been a lot of, of of hustle a lot of toil that's been put in book back hmm. so for me i feel if He's more matured, as he said he is. He should have a sitting with me, and we should iron out our differences. And would you would you honor that sitting? With pleasure. I have nothing against him. Like I said to you, I mm. see him as a brother. Yeah. And honestly, Ronnie is gone. I'm not gonna wait till Bright is gone and then say mini manka. Were He's you at Ronnie's funeral? Um, I, um, I I came a week before the funeral, but I had to leave in the emergency. But I went. I was able to see the family. Yeah. I went to see the family. I I gave them my condolences. And I also supported Bright when he was in Ghana for okay. the funeral because okay. we were in, we kept in contact during right. the funeral. So right. yeah, it's so it's, even though you have tension between the two of you, you do communicate. Um, yes, sometimes. But ever since um, this book back issue, mm. issue came, the history of book back issue, issue came up. We, we've not contacted each other for now. Why? But, um, like I'm saying, we are all big boys. Yeah, we are all big boys. So Ono Phil said, it's a time for him to have a sitting. I'll be ready for You'll him. You'll be ready for him. He, he, he Why knows. don't you call for the sitting then? Oh, um, um, I sent messages. And you know, uh, you know this Gam Gampro registration stuff? Yeah, Gampro, yeah. Gampro, uh, you know, um, to be honest, all songs I did with Book Back, I've not even asked for one CD from Bright. Hmm. That's how clear I am. I, I've told him, it's not about the money. It's not, oh, yes, AC uh, even uh, the C. Mm. So yes, money we all need, but I want Ghanaians to know that I'm not that kind of greedy person. Mm. Get the, 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 all the royalties, I told them, personally I'm like, right, when you take the royalties, make sure it goes to Ronnie's kids. That, that's, that's how much I loved Book yeah. Back. Yeah. And I, I feel, even mm. now, I feel I still have to do something for Ronnie's kids. Because that is, that is what real love is about. And Book Back was built on the foundation of love. And you know, yeah, the only thing I can tell Bright is, put your thinking cap on. I'm still Papa Shoto, I'm still your homeboy. You can contact me when you want. I think we should, we should sit down mm. and, and think big. We should look at a bigger picture. Um, like, we're both legends in the music industry. So we should think about something that will benefit us mm. and our children right. not the little little quarrels. not a little little quarrels. Quarrels. it's it's for kids right finally before you you go do you have a music video for the two songs um yeah i do you have the i have for, for the, the para yeah it's is on, it out yeah it's out it's on youtube okay it's on youtube um 
you can just log on YouTube, uh, check uh, Papa Shoto Para, mm. and uh, yeah, you can watch it. it was, yeah, um, it's, it's on iTunes, South, uh, SoundCloud. Uh, just put Papa Shoto Papa para, Shoto on Google para, go, and, para and pull you, everything out. Everything will come out. Anyway, your final words to your fans. You know, Ghanaians have waited for you for a very long time. And I know they miss you. Anything you want to tell them? <laughs> Um, I want you guys to know I'm back, I'm back for good. Uh, even though I have five weeks of vacation a year, you know, I'll find a way to at least give you a song every year. Mm. Um, it's great to be back home, I miss you guys. So I'm telling you, uh, Parane and the Rate, you know, I brought it for you guys. It's for free. Enjoy to the max. Life is short, we are all we got. Let's, let's live life to the fullest. Life is good. <laughs> My brothers, I didn't tell you, I'm back. Poposhoto, flesh and blood, that's all it is. I mean, yeah, it's Ghana and Ghana stress not do so. It's a moment. Let me and you may be higher. I'm my ninja. You're my ninja. And if I should be a day, if I had a day, if I had a Make up yourself for Bashoto for coming through vibes. Thank you very much, Mr. Arnold. You know, that's what I'm talking about. History of book back corrected right here on Vibes in Five. My name is Arnold Mensa. I love you. You can always call me. Bro, you're sipping. We are down by Plano Business. Go get the app and sign up. Onto it, yes, yeah, sign your business up onto that. Big up yourself. Till next week.